I know you're drooling all over this dumpling goodness. I am going to show you how I made my filling. Let's get started. In this bowl, I have minced pork. I also have shrimp that I just minced, not very finely, but has a little bit of chunks in there. I'm going to add celery to it. Just as much as you want, okay? Now I'm adding garlic ginger paste. I'm also gonna be adding this sesame oil. It's spicy, so I'm just adding a few drops. I'm also adding soy sauce, one tablespoon. Just like so. I'm also adding oyster sauce, one teaspoon. Just about one teaspoon. I also have chicken stock. That is one tablespoon. I ended up using all. I also have one egg that I whisk a little bit. You don't need to whisk, but I didn't want to use all. That's why. To this, I'm adding a teaspoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch and the egg is going to combine all the ingredients together need a pinch of salt if you like pepper you can add pepper to this and there's one more ingredient that I didn't have home that is um, scallion so if you have scallion or green onions home please add some to this now you're going to mix this like I'm doing for three minutes and then you scoop some and hit it in the bowl so you pick and you hit we are just incorporating all the ingredients, developing the texture and also the taste. So just do it like you see me doing. And after this, we'll keep this in the refrigerator for an hour. So this is how it looks now. It's not watery like we started. Just like so. So now we are going to cover and keep it in the refrigerator for one hour. Now it's one hour, I'm going to show you how to fold your dumplings, fill your dumplings and fold it two ways. So scoop some of your mixture into your dumpling wrapper and then you fold it in half just like you see me doing. Make sure you get all the air out by pinching the size. If you are amateur just like me, you can decide to fry your dumpling or steam it just like this. Or you can also add a little bit of style just be fancy and do it like I'm doing you can see I am not perfect but the taste is all that matters so you fold and you pinch you fold and you pinch the reason why you pinch is that you don't want your filling to come out to burst out when you are frying or steaming so I'll show you one more time. Fold it in half like this. I'll pinch the size and letting all the air out. Like I said, you can decide to fry it or steam it just like it is. Or you can also be fancy and do it like I'm doing. <laughs> That's it, then tag it under there. It's not perfect, but the taste is amazing. I'm gonna show you the other way, which I think is much easier than the first one. So just pinch the middle, and then you fold it on the other side. You fold and you pinch like you are making pleats. So push all your filling in there, you fold and you pinch. I'm going to show you one more time on the other side. So we are folding one side and pinch together, fold the other side and pinch and fold again and pinch. You're pinching because you don't want your filling to come out when you're cooking. Look, isn't this cute? 
This is the most cutest thing I've ever seen. Wow, looks like a pouch. So if you don't want to use your dumpling right away, you can put them on the plates like this and stick them in the freezer. When they're solid a little bit, you can take them out and put them in a Ziploc bag like this and then you write your date. You can, you can put them in the freezer for up to six months. So seal it and do the same to the rest. And anytime you want to have dumplings, you just go for it. You can also make them like this with no filling. And wrap them with plastic wrap and put them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in the freezer. I dusted them with cornstarch. Why? Because if you use flour, all purpose flour like you did, it's going to absorb into your wrappers and that's not what you want. That's why you use cornstarch or any other starch. And when you are ready to use, you use water to moisten the edges so they can seal up properly. Now let me show you how I steam my dumplings. So I have boiling water right here and this is steam basket or whatever you call it and a parchment paper. So I just line the basket with the parchment paper and I'll put the dumplings right on the paper. I do that so that the dumplings don't stick to the bottom of the basket. So put your dumplings in there and cover it up. You are going to cook for 10 minutes or uh, until you see your dumplings becoming so silky. In this little bowl, I added one tablespoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of cider vinegar, and I'm adding green onions and also parsley. This is garlic ginger paste. You mix it, you can add a little bit of water to this. And now our dumplings are all steamed up and ready to be eating. So this is how they look. We'll just turn off the fire and also let it cool down a little bit. Like I said, you know when your dumplings are ready, they are silky and juicy inside. Now let's have a bite. Oh my goodness, mm, 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 mm. this is good. Look, so juicy in there. Amazing. Very juicy. Take a look at that. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Let me show you how I make this simple but tasty soup for these dumplings. So in this bowl, I'm going to add my homemade chicken stock, two cups. To this, I'm going to add some scallion. This is one scallion. I'm also adding slices of ginger. That is also dry shrimp. You don't have to, but I just added it to it. I'm also starting off by adding one tablespoon of soy sauce. We are going to let this simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Your soup is ready. It tastes amazing. The ginger, a little bit of scallion. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I also have some eggs here that I sliced. And I'm adding my green, that is bok choy. Add this and then add your soup. Your dumpling with soup is also ready. Oh my goodness, this is so good. My little girl, she loves the soup. So have fun making your dumplings and let me know what you think. Take care. That is all I have for you today. So make your dumplings, enjoy, share my videos, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.